Okay, so it's a new week, which means we are doing a whole new renovation. And also, here's the cool thing. This is not just a whole new renovation. Like, I know you're like, where, where are you, Muthonik? Where are you? Even me, where am I? That's a good question. Let me tell you. We are doing the first ever home renovation collab on this channel. Makofi, please, Tafalali, thank you. And not just that. It's a collab with a friend of mine. And it's a Here Comes Muthoni first episode of 2020 and okay of course you've seen a, a, the title but point is I'll pretend you've not had you've not seen this because I am partnering with one amazing food youtuber she's a youtuber okay she makes amazing food so we are doing her kitchen so that her nyama can taste even better <laughs> Okay, if, if, if the kitchen helps me, I don't know if it does. So we are collaborating with Pika Narage, who's coming over here right now. First I love of all, shaky, shaky, like the same height, like, height. as in like moment of silence. Uh, height. Yeah. I, like, yeah. I belong. As in, we are this dog to her. <laughs> like, this is amazing <laughs> things come in this type of packages. Yes. Like, can you tell? And, and first of all, I want you to tell me how you do without meat. Oh, I just do. She's a vegetarian. <laughs> how do you even survive? I vegan. do. Like, see, I'm here. She's a vegan. <laughs> vegan. I don't vegan. He's a vegan. <laughs> vegan. How do you even survive? I just do. Because, as in, meat is not everything. No, <laughs> meat is everything to some of us. But you see, for me, it's not. So, like, for me, it's not a big deal. Imagine. Yay! Like so, guys, I'm, so about to over I'm about to overtake this vlog. Imagine. Ibo too. Hello, and welcome back to Mudoni's YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> it's like, you have to be like, oh, wait. This is a channel where she does everything that you want mm. in your house. Just with what you have. Yeah, so like now, and then now what Rachel does on her channel is she cooks yes. with stuff you can buy outside yeah. your door in your kibandaski. Yeah. Your mama mboga can provide, and yeah. she makes amazing bomb meals. Yeah. So you better go watch her channel. When you're not saying I'm funny cooking videos, us and doing more later. What else do you want? What do you want from me? Hola. So we haven't seen each other since. When's today? Oh, look at my babies. Good ginger. I woke him. Good Jimmy. Okay, so any who, any how, any what, we haven't seen each other since Saturday. So Saturday is when we got started on Rachel's kitchen. And today is Monday because um, on Saturday, I don't know if I informed you, um, I had a problem. I didn't finish because we didn't buy paint and then yesterday being sunday i couldn't find a place where i could get paint so we just had to postpone till today which means rachel has seen like half the kitchen which is fine because it's still gonna look amazing by the time we're completely done so i am currently heading there it's uh it's the afternoon it's like one ish it's almost it's almost one and I'm about to head out to go over to Rachel's place so that I can finish the kitchen. The reason I'm going in the afternoon is because most of the work that I have left over is stuff that I can finish in one afternoon. And then she has to come over and we come over. She has to come home and then we have to do a reveal where she now gets to see the fully transformed kitchen that is going to be her new space. So I am heading over there now. I think I said that. I'm not sure so I'm about to leave the house to head on over there and then we have to go buy paint first so there's a space I saw when I was going last time there's a place I noticed where they sell the mixed paint so so that I can get the specific kind of paint that I want the specific color uh, so I'm gonna take you with me there and then after that we are now going to go do the painting which reminds me I came in here for a brush do the painting finish style the kitchen and then show her what it looks like see her reaction so i'm excited about that so far she was excited uh, about what she saw so i'm very hopeful that excitement is still somewhere in there so <laughs> Hey 
Okay, okay, let's just reduce this a bit. Okay, so I have finally arrived at Rachel's. Um, she left the key for me, but it took a bit of time to get here because I was picking up paint, then the person I was liaising with who was supposed to pay for it wasn't like their phone went off and then that like just became hard trying to reach them so i've decided to just come and start on the shelf and then i'll just either undo them when i'm painting or just figure that out then i was like that way once i get the paint i'll just have to paint like that will be the last thing and then i'll leave the paint drying and go home like if that makes any sense so it's really hot outside like 26 27 degrees type of hot and i'm not a hot weather kind of person i'm wearing black so not the coolest um thing ever but um so we're going to chop off a wood this is the wood that i got so we're gonna just chop this up um over here I'm So I have finished chopping up the wood and I've gone to pick paint but I'm still waiting for one can. They had an issue, they couldn't mix it for me so they've sent someone to pick it from another store that they own so I'm waiting for them to bring it because um, the, the hardware is not that far from here. So oh wow I'm like mud yellow oh okay this battery is, is wow this battery is dying let's change it. I'm to start with this wall over here because um, this is where we are mounting the what are these things called the shelves we're doing two shelves over here and one is like behind you on that side so what I want to do is I was thinking I paint first but now I'm thinking I drill first then paint okay yeah I want to drill first let me just plug this in okay cool everything is charging so i'm thinking i drill first because it's like 5 30 in the evening and i don't want to be that person who's drilling when guys are like seated in their houses and then i'm making noise for them so i want to drill i want to measure drill kwanzaa and then we move on to painting because then now the holes will already be there and then it will just be screwing them in i think that's the best way that will be the best approach in my opinion so we're using we're using L brackets. This is what they look like. So this holds on to the wood and this holds on to the wall. That way it, it forms that support on the wall like that. But we're not putting it on the tile, we're putting it up here like that. So the last, the lowest one will be here and then the other one will be above it. But now I'm suddenly thinking we do one here, one there and one there. Cause I'm like the other one might end up being too high cause I don't want it to be higher than the cabinets that are on this side so i'm going to do the first ones and then we see we see how it's going to translate into the second and then we move on from there i've taken it out of the bag i'm like did i forget it oh this oh no this is the one that so i'm using this this is a six a six inch uh, there's like plugs for different sizes so there's six there's eight so i'm using six and these are the plugs that are going to go into the wall that's the like they fit with this particular one so what i usually do is i'll take tape that way i don't end up doing too much like doing the most i usually take tape and i just use this to measure how deep i need this to go and then i mark the end of that with the tape so let's just confirm that again because it needs to sit so that's too short so i need to push it a bit lower so there there okay so found the perfect spot so i'll just mark that on this and then every time when i'm drilling into the wall when we get to that point we stop that's the idea I know the size of my my wood and since I'm using this this is a straight bit I have to make sure this place is where is my nini oh, there it is 
my spirit meter this is straight right yes that's straight oh wow is it it's not exactly like a hundred percent straight okay it's not a hundred percent but it's close enough so i know that i'm doing two feet of wood so i'll do see one thing you have to do when you're putting anything close to anything else is you open to make sure you do not obstruct so i'll do that and then sometimes you have to leave equal space on this side and on this side but this will matter once that is closed because then it will definitely be a lot further on that end so if my thing is two feet the question is where do i want to put my l brackets this brackets where do they go question is where do you want to put your l bracket so you can decide to do equal distance from this side and that side so if i say i want to go in maybe let's say six so we put it on six over here ow which means on this other side you also do six which would be 18 but i think i'll do four over here now let's do five five on this side and five on that side so it would be five inches in and since I've measured and that's what I want, I think I'll start by marking this one. And then I have to first make sure that it's straight. It's, you always have to confirm that this stuff is straight because if it's not straight, you're going, where did I put my pen? Okay, found it. So I'll mark the spots I want. So I'll just lift this slightly higher, just a bit of space and then just mark where I want this to go I'll take my I'll take my hammer and then I'll just put this here this is just to break the this is to break the what is this called the the paint the point at which the paint sits that way when I put my drill bit it's not going to slide We have that in and at this point I can even put this in place because you just use screws there you go and it's like perfect so I'm just these are not the ones I'm going to use so now I'm just putting screws in place so we can use it to mark the other side that's what we're doing that's why we have that there. So where's the thingy? So we have the second one. And I'll just repeat the process on this side. And now I'm thinking I wouldn't be able to do two shelves here. So I think I'll do one here, one there, and one there. Then she'll have three separate shelves on three different parts of the kitchen. But this, I might end up just doing two shelves because this is behind the door. I'm not so sure about it. So we'll do, we can do here and there. Then now you just align the places you've drilled and the rightful holes and then you just screw that in. That's it. Okay, so this is the fridge we are going to paint or we will be painting and the first thing you want to do is remove all this, the papers and all the two thingies that are on it. 
it doesn't have a handle it looks like the handle came off both handles because I can see the holes and okay so the paint we are using on this it, it has a matte finish because we want it to be as matte as the paper that we have going on we want it to be to resemble the texture the paper that we have the contact paper that we used on this end uh, with the wardrobes and stuff the cabinetry yes so i have put some paper down here because i don't want to dirtify it so the first trick is of course um picking your paint so we're going with gray and then we're going to wipe to remove this then wipe it and then get started so For the color reveal yeah okay I forgot to carry the the spatula thing is that I used to mix my paints so I'm just gonna have to find something I can throw away or why I'm gonna use this comb and then just clean it after it's very thick it hasn't been thinned out at all I want to I'm going to try and do like the first coat and see if I need to thin it out even a little bit and then see it's a very nice gray I really like it I've done two coats to the front so when I did the first coat I came did the first coat here then came and did the second one here then after the second one here I did the first one on that side now I'm doing the second one on this side then once I'm done I'll do the second one on that side because it will be dry ish and then I'll come to the third coat because I want to do two coats on either side and three coats um, with the front So I want to remove the stuff that's in the bag, the stuff that she got. So there's this bowls that she already had that were here. So she has like this orange ones, there's this two orange ones and there's this glass one. So we have those bowls. Then in here I see there's bowls and, and caps. Yeah. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. 
Check it. Mimi nasema vile kitchen yangu ndio ndio kwa safi hivi. Mwaka vile nilikuwa na mavitu huko juu. Wow, so loud. Ah, sikon message hizi. Wow. Siko na mzee tunafanya nini nazo? Wow, 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 wow. So beautiful. So cute. Safi. So nice. Eh. Wow. Hey, I'm so not going to do it. Okay. Yeah, it is unbelievable. Yeah, my house can be this clean. <laughs> what? I love it. Yo! Yo! What a friend. So, I'm going to say that welcome to Pekan oh, Arrange. It's good to have a lot of money in the kitchen. I already enjoy it. Kai! I love you. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. The driver is a bit of this. Nice. Hi. Nice. Hello and welcome to this channel. This is Pika Ray in her new kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so exciting. Lovely. What? Lovely. This is so exciting. Love your orange nanini me blend. Orange and black and, and grey. Gray. Me blend sana. Me patia. Thank you, Mothoni. Me patia film poor sana. I have not even thought this thing can be seriously. Ah, Nicola Kitu, let it. Yes. No big things in my home. Oh, to replace that, right? Yo. No pink things in my house. No. It's all orange. Orange and black. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, who wants this? Me, I don't need it. Good. 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 Energy is of paramount importance. Yes. Uh, with hammering and drilling. I'm a same paramount. Pa imagine. Paramount importance. <laughs> Yeah, we talk English. Pale kuingile ni mbogomogo. So please make sure you go watch her videos. Also, mwende mumfollow. Kama uja subscribe. And if you already do not know who Rach is, now you've been introduced. Yes, please. You've been acclimated into who Rach is. Go subscribe. The link will be in the description box. Na pia video yake. Iko kwa description box. Yes, and this is my kitchen. Don't we, forget. This is her kitchen. Yeah. So, so if you want to be seeing how she's going to be utilizing the work that I have done, you have to now watch her videos. You see, like yeah, you have no other option. You don't. Have. It's very important. Yes. Yeah. And mm. I tell you, kid, you not. If you want her to do something for you, just mm -hmm. holla, holla, holla at her. Holler. I promise you. You know you can't see behind. She already started. This and, is, and this is only half. And this now. is just like I'm um, just mind blow like <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just amazing behind there. Yeah, I know sh she's going to blow you. Okay, wait, no, blow your mind. Yeah, blow, blow. Yes. <laughs> just do <laughs> just I don't want to blow you. Yeah. So. <laughs>